In this video, we're going to show you how you can update a specific value in the array in Chart.js. So with this, we're going to explore more deeper the arrays and how we can search for where which uh, array value needs to be updated. As you can see here, I'm just clicking on these buttons and it will understand which one it will grab. And this is very useful because this is a uh, advanced way of array manipulation. So let's start to explore how we can do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers question, which is how to update a specific value in the chart in chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to add and remove data from chart in chart.js. And in here, if you scroll down, you will see here eventually the question came from Randy Randall, a special thank you to Randy for asking this question. And this is what Randy asked. Wonderful work. Works very well. Thank you. And thank you for giving me the compliment. The next, what he says is this. Can you show us how to update a value at a specific label, not push or pop, but just update? All right, let's start and explore how to do this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create the chart. And then after what I'm going to do is we're going to make it first hard coded and we will convert that after to a soft coded version. The reason why this is slightly more challenging is basically we need to get the array and we need to get the value of the array. So first of all, let's start to create the chart. Just go to chartjs3.com getting started here and then copy this chunk of code. And if you would like to understand what this code does, please check this specific video that covers that topic. All right, so I'm going to paste this in here. And once I paste this, I will just cut out this title here. This is for me, the basic personal use, so I know what's the title topic. All right, save this refresh and there we are so now we have this and we can imagine here for example we have this here maybe friday and we want to update friday we want to update maybe the label we want to update maybe the, the value in here so how are we going to do this well we're going to create first a button and that button will be an on click that we once we click on it it will trigger it so let's do that immediately so in here i'm going to put in here a button and this button we can say here on click and then we say equal update value doesn't matter you can give anything you want and I say here uh, uh, update Friday for example so that's the one we're going to pinpoint anyway for now so we have this button here now it's connected so what we're going to do now is we need to make a function because right now it triggers a function but the function does nothing at all so we're going to copy this because this is the function name and then we say here the following we say function uh, function make sure you spell it correctly update value and here we could do the following oh. so what we're going to do here now is well how are we going to do this well first of all let's give this a value here so let's say we want to change Friday into something else I'll say here uh, holiday all right holiday and then in here we could say the following so this is one of the ways and this is a very straightforward way but this is a hard-coded option we're going to convert this step by step so don't worry about it so we say here the following we say here uh, label text and here this label text here if you do console.log we had the label text here and then if we just save this and refresh here and open up our developer tab and if we click on this button, you can see we get the value of holiday, all right? So what we want to do then here is we could do it like this. We're going to work with the arrays within chart.js and to assign, for example, Friday, basically we have to get um, this item here. Meaning we need to go from my chart, we're going to config, which is this here. So from my chart, config, and in config, we can find here the data. And in the data, which is this constant here, we have to go to labels and then we get the specific value here. Remember, this is an array value, so it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically, this is index number 4, or we can call it uh, element number 5. But remember, in the index, index number 4. All right, so then in here, we can say here, my chart. So we're going back here. How to get there, we say for my chart, that's this, convict. dot convict and then here dot we have to go to the data so we say dot data and a dot we go up here and we see here the labels so we grab the labels put it in here and then we say here 
the specific label value, well, we say here, label number four equals label text. So if we do this now, and then we say here, my chart.update, and then we say here this, and we save that. If I refresh now, click here, pay attention on Friday, and there you are. So now we have adjusted this. But this, of course, is hard coded. And this is, of course, not what we want. We want to have this more soft coded. So how can we do this? Well, basically, we can change this here. So let's go back to the button here. Let's convert this into Friday. And what we need to do now is basically we have this here. And this is very important what I'm going to show you because what I'm going to show you now is we're going to extract the data or the position of that constant here of this array. So what we're going to do now is basically figuring out the value here. So what you can see here this Friday, so that's what we're going to change right now. So we have this Friday and we want to make sure that we want to look into the labels. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a constant labels equals. And I'm just going to move this, reposition it here as a constant. And then we say your labels equals labels. All right. And then what we want to do here is eventually work with that label. What we want to do really is to search in this label constant array or this array, where can we find Friday? We should extract then a number, right? Previously, we put in a number here, or we had it hard coded with some text that we have here the number, but now we want to find it, make it intelligent in finding it. So how do we do this? Well, to do this, we need to work with the index of. And this is the reason why we created an we created a array because we need to extract the array and then from there on we will work. So we say this. We say here the following. We're going to create a uh, array. Well, we can say here constant. And then we say index number. Basically, that's what we really want. And then we say here the labels array. And then we say dot index of. And then here we get the label text. And the label text now is really matching with the array value. So we're going to grab that one. If we have this, what we want to do now, I'm going to comment this all out. We don't need this yet. Later on, we're going to use this. Then we first want to validate what is the value we get here. So if I do a console log, we will now get here, and we expect the value of number four. So if we save this here, and refresh, Click on update, you can see here number four. That is nice. So we see here Friday. Friday will be converted into number four. So once you have this, we can now play around with that. So if you want to change this item here, how will we change it? Well, basically, we have here the index number. We can just replace this here. We can copy that. We would replace this here now. Put it here in. Then we update this. We save this and refresh. So if I click here now, we say this, oh, uh, let's see, equals label text. That is the Friday, of course. I realize that that is by default there. We cannot use this one here, but if we could put it here, let's say hard-coded text, holiday. All right, so if I refresh, update, now it updates automatically. Pay attention here if you're going to change this. Instead of Friday, we put here now Sunday. Then you will see that the holiday or the label would change on Sunday. Click on that, and you can see here now it matches and it searched for this. All right, so the request was not the label to adjust, but maybe the values here specifically in. All right, so let's start to look at that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, put another item, and this item will be specifically focused on the numbers itself. So if we go to the numbers, what we need to do here is we need to go in here in data, and this is the one we want to replace. So how do we do this? Well, very straightforward. You can say your my chart dot config dot data dot all right then now we're not going to labels anymore but we go to data sets but data sets is a uh, bracket meaning this is an array as well so the, this is data set number zero or the first el first data set element which we call data set index zero and remember you can add up more data sets by copy pasting this but we will only focus on this data set here so data set zero zero and then dot what do we want to pinpoint well we want to grab the data and if you want to adjust uh, 
the same item here we can grab the data here and here we would say for example if we would do Sunday so this would be number six so we want data number six and say equal let's make this 100 just to show you first before we continue on so make sure you save this I want you to save this refresh pay attention here update and now this is 100 all right so we have now updated it, but it's still hard coded since we have this part here or sorry this one the index number we can use this and replace this one here now if I save that refresh all right so this works now completely soft coded so what we can do now here is well we can keep this here but we want to maybe uh, change the numbers so let me show you here something else this is the final item so we can make multiple buttons and adjust anything we want here so what I'm going to do here is just very simple. I'm going to duplicate this six more times. So we have every single day of the week. So we say here, uh, Monday, Tuesday, then we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, oh, and Saturday. And next what I want to do here, I want to put in another value. So let's say Monday is associated with a value of five. And this one will be of 10 comma uh, 15 comma let's say 18 comma uh, 21 comma 24 and finally comma 27 so once we have this we can save all of this but this would mean that this parameter must be also recognized in here so we only have the label text right now so what we're going to add up now is not the label text but we're going to add up here let's say label value which would be your label value it doesn't matter anything you want basically here now you will see if i do a console log it will recognize that we have this label value selected save refresh and now if i click on this update all right this is monday and you can see here number five and you do this one here it will need number 27 we just correct and i realize that we need to rename this some uh set friday thursday Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. All right, save that. We can refresh. So we have all of these dates. You can see here everything works, but it's still hard coded with the value here. Don't worry about it. You can see the this value here being shown. So this works nicely. So we're going here, and we're going to just grab this label value, put it in here, save that, and refresh. Now we will see here. This will be number five. And then this should be 15 and after it's plus three every time all right and you can see everything changes here what happens if you would click again it will say here minus one now so why does it say minus one well the answer is simple the answer is basically because we change the array it cannot find it anymore in the array so what we need to do here basically is not only changing this we, we should not change the array here well, we were not planning to change the array, but if we would change the array, we need to duplicate basically this array first. So that will be more important. I will show that in another video. For now, I'll just keep it like this. I'm going to remove this because we don't need to have the holiday. And if I now refresh, you should see here now, this works nicely. All right. So now we have this adjusted. And if you want to go just one level or even advanced, we could put it here in the index. We put a number with a input type number you put in a number and then you update it and it will update them that matching number so if you have more requests we're going to go deeper in this just put it in the comment section below and i'll make sure i'll get back to you with another video so if you enjoyed this video i would like to recommend you the following video that's absolutely useful as well which is understanding data structures in chart.js in here you're going deeper and you're going to build up on a structure where you add values all together because for example right now what we did was we we grab a certain value and update that but we can combine these all together in a proper data structure and with that you go far more advanced i highly recommend you to check out this video as well because with this you can do far more stuff that is all combined just think about the colors everything that are all in one specific data set so Highly recommend to check out this video. The link will pop up here somewhere. You will see it immediately.